um, I know that the cats will be coming out and being judged on the main stage, which is just behind me over there. But all the cats come back, so we've spoken to some of the exhibitors that we've met at the show, and they've said that all the cats come back today and get um, on display again for the public. And I think there's a few other little things going on in the background. But I think actual judging is finished. Um, maybe the companion cats, the pet cats, get judged today. Uh, and that's as much as I know about that because it's a bit hard to understand what's going on. English is not, uh, a lot of people here don't understand English at all. There's some things sometimes where I've gone to talk to people who might be breeders and um, or exhibitors and they've just looked at me like, no, I have no idea what you're saying. Um, but other people have been really good and we make uh, a lot of broken English, a lot of pointing and that's worked for us. But there are a lot of people here that speak really good English too. So that's an interesting part of the show. So I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna turn this around in a moment. And I'm gonna walk around and show you a bit more of the show. So people are coming in. There's not um, heaps of cats in at the moment because they're all still coming in. I'm just gonna get my coffee down because it's early. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. Here we go. All right. I'm going to take you on a bit of a tour. Make sure if you, uh, oh, if you want to, comment below and tell me what you're thinking. Okay. What they've done, you can see that this is um, a French section, is that they have grouped everybody, has been grouped into countries. And um, different clubs. So the breeds are actually all over the place. Here's some Maine Coons. And the way it's laid out is that the um, the cats are in sturdy cages, or they're in um, these ones here. Oh, there was some of these at a stand. I've got a video on that that I'll put up later. Or these ones are uh, like they've got perspex front perspex. These ones have got clear plastic on them. Some rag dolls here. Oh no, these are Siberians, sorry. That's a, well these would be um, Nevers and then this is a Burman. Well, oh no, that's the Burman. There's a Burman and a Siberian in the same cage. I don't know what's what. Um, this one here's got a really cool um, Perspex front on here. So they've got a Burman tabby male. Here we've got some more Burmans. And even more Burmans. Aren't they amazing? I like the red. Um, so they have them facing outwards and this is where the public comes. So it's a bit hard to take photos. Oh, I was a bit disappointed about my, my, I couldn't take a lot of photos yesterday because a lot of the cats, the plastic doesn't take very good photos through the plastic. Then down the middle, you have the exhibitor section and so that's where the owners are and they have all their grooming things set up and you can see they've got some pretty good setups. These people have got um, trolleys with their things on and then the top of it becomes a table. Um, lots of people got grooming tables that they put next to their benching table. Fold up chairs, that kind of thing. There's some really cute shelves that hang off the side. Um, you've got like this one is just a fold up cage and they've got special tops made for them. These ones have hammocks in them. Some people don't have their cats facing outwards and that's okay. These ones here are the show cage. So these are the actual um, supply cages and then people have their curtains that go in them but the curtains only go at each end because the cats are on display from the back and then they've got plastic over them. And they've got like fancy tops on them. And um, these ones are the ribbons. These ones are on Best in Variety. So what Best in Variety is, is when there's more than three cats of a certain um, color, pattern they do a best of variety award they don't do a best of breed see lots of decorations for their um, country and their cats um, exhibitors are still coming in so that's why there's not a lot here we have another Berman here this one didn't come <laughs> okay what have we got over here uh, nothing this guy's got a really nice sort of fold up cage with the plastic on it. Big Berman. 
big rag doll. Narelle would like this guy. Hello. He's in a little sturdy. Uh, the Royal Cannon. We've, we've had these, the Royal Cannon um, pop ups. Lots of uh, stands and things, and there's big screens. And then there's the big stage area over there, and lots of big stands. Egyptian man. Hello, cutie. You're very cute. You can see that um, some of them in their cages have lights. They're actually lit up so that people can see them. This is a black silver spotted Egyptian male. And then we have a black smoke. <laughs> oh, and then we have, this is a breed that we don't see at home. So this is a curly and bobtail. This is a long, long hair. This is not a breed that I don't think has made it to Australia. He looks pretty chill. I can't see his tail, it's very dark. And again, the plastic makes it a bit hard for you to see. We have a Norwegian who's playing. And another one who's eating. So they can have their cats however they want. They can have two cats in one cage, one pop-up, ready to go to the show. This guy's so cute. Um, over here we have more Norwegians. They've got a lot of little cubbies in there. And what people will do is they'll take their cats up to the show judges and they'll take them up in their beds. Oh, there's two cats in here. <laughs> we have chartreuse. I think we had chartreuse in Australia. We had uh, maybe... I think there was pet ones. I don't think we've ever had breeding ones in Australia. So there's chartreuse. Another one. This one's just in a travel cage. So the owners take the cats. You can see again down the middle, there's all the exhibitors setting up. Another type of show cage there. Just um, benching cage, sorry. Um, they take their cats up to the judges and they'll just take them up and sit them on the bench next to them, sit them on their lap. They might take them up in a, um, in a little, um, carrier or they bring them up in cat prams so <laughs> cat prams there's so many different ones i've seen so many cool cat prams we have an abbey sorrel which is cinnamon frost and weirdly that's a cinnamon smoke abbey which is weird yeah that's a thing okay and then we have um so i guess we would call that a cinnamon silver silver cinnamon abbey yeah I'll just show you again. There we go. And we have an oriental. Hello, darling. Now, these people have got a really cool display. They've got their um, Bengals. And look at this guy. He has got, in his cage, he's got the plastic front, which I think this is a regular pop-up cage. But what they've done is they've um, in, taken the side and put the plastic in. They've put a piece of plastic in it, like a Perspex in it. So it's got a really smooth, clear side. And he's got the cactus, and he's got his lizard, he's got his cactus, he's got his teepee. And I think you can see in the background there, there's like a desert scape. It's a bit reflective. Sorry, it's not really good. But there's, he's got like a desert um, painting behind him. So his owners have gone to town. And there's an, oh, there's an abbey in with him too. Oh, I think he's the Bengal out of this pen. And then the abbey's in with him. In this, he's in the abbey's pen just while they're getting ready. Um, I'm going to go down this side because there's more cats this time and more people are arriving. Siberians. Oh, look at this black Siberian. Beautiful. And he's in the same pen as a um, black, silver and white ticked Maine Coon. I'm going to come back and get a video of that in a minute because it's gorgeous. Uh, we also have think, some more Siberians here. Yep. More. Oh, these are Maine Coons and a Siberian. We have two Maine Coons and they're in one that's got lighting in it, so you can see in there. And they've got the display up the top. Hello. Gorgeous. Look at the tips on those ears. Wow. Oh, look at this big guy. 
hanging out in there. And you know, it's really cool to look at this. We've got Norwegian, another Norwegian. It's really cool to look at this and be like, oh, oh, there's a cream ticked Maine Coon. Wow, I've never seen that before. Uh, this is a Karelian Bobtail. Hello. Yes, so cute. Um, so be, it's easy to look at this and go, oh wow, this is cool. Everybody sits in the middle and they've got um, cases of beer, they've got champagne bot bottles, they've got champagne buckets. They start drinking at about 10 o'clock, which is amazing and I like the idea of that. But the, um, and some people are wearing costumes, as you can see through there. We have some Norwegians here. Oh, look at this beautiful white one, it's odd eyed. Um, so how would this work at home, whether we could have this type of show set up at home? And the issue that I think we would face, the first issue that we would face, oh look at these guys, oh yeah, yes, you're gorgeous. Um, we do know there's an Australian Bengal here, um, we met him, <laughs> um, hello, we heard from Melinda in South Australia that her, there was an Australian, uh, one of her cats was here at the show. She sent a cat over to um, some breeders here. And we got in the um, taxi this morning to go to the air, to go to the show. And the taxi driver said to us, I pick up from another hotel, is all right? I'm like, uh, yeah, okay, sure. Look at this cute little rag doll. Oh, nice. And then he went to another hotel and the people came and the lady said, I don't think we're all gonna fit in here because there was a heap of them. There was four people coming and we were already in this van taxi and they had some luggage. And we said, oh, we're really sorry. We didn't, we, we didn't really have a say in it. And um, we, these cats came and got in, got in with us and there was a um, Bengal. And Charlotte said, oh, we're looking for a Bengal. Our, um, a lady we know, a friend we know in um, Australia sent a Bengal here and apparently it's at the show so we're going to go look for it today. And she said, oh Melinda. <laughs> and it turned out that the very Bengal that we were going to look at out of over a thousand, I think it's 1400 cats here, he got in, he was there in front of us in the cat carrier on the lady's lap. So yeah, we met him, he was gorgeous so I'm going to go see him later um, in his cage. What have we got here? We've got Siberians. I think there's some kittens. But back to what I was saying about how this would work in Australia. I, I just don't know if it would because the thing about it is, oh, there's a British short hair. Oh, hello, darling, you're cute. It's really hard to see through the plastic. Sorry, guys. Um, Singapurus. We don't have cats that are used to this. We don't have cats that are necessarily got the temperament for it. And I just can't imagine that, um, our, he's, oh, hello, he's up in the top. So they've got like a little shelf there and he's up there playing. I don't know that our cats would be able to come out and sit all together in around a table. And I don't know that our exhibitors at the moment could get their head around the fact that everybody just goes up to the judge and talks to the judge. The chartreuse again, chartreuse. Very hard to see through the plastic. I don't know that our exhibitors are ready for that yet because we have the situation in Australia where everyone sort of gets a bit like you can't influence the judge if they know who you are and all that kind of stuff, which I've never really subscribed to. Um, I know in WA, hello, maybe if I go closer you can see. Chartreuse, really interesting. Um, in WA we have owner handling, which is not something, I know other states have tried to, tried to do it too and people have not been very receptive to it but it's a thing where it doesn't matter if the judge knows who you are, the judge is judging the cat. I just wanna show you here, I'm just gonna try and point. See this cat here has his cage and then they have these little shelves and they come out. Hello, sorry, let me get out your way. <laughs> and they have these really cute uh, shelves that they have for grooming that hang off the side and the cats also sit on them and they pat them. It's really cute. So I don't know that our exhibitors could handle the fact that exhibitors walk up to the cat, the, I'll take a, I've got a video that I'll share later. They walk straight up there and talk to the judge and the judge talks to the exhibitor and the exhibitor um, has the cat there. And then while the judge is writing the report, the exhibitor, I saw one guy yesterday, he was taking videos 
was taking videos and his, while his wife was um, playing with the cat with the teaser and that was completely normal. Um, if you did that in Australia, people would just lose it. <laughs> so I think we could get to this point, but I think that there would have to be a huge transition. There's a Maine Coon, he's blue. It's a bit of a blob on the video, sorry. Um, I think we could get to that point, but I don't know that we are anywhere near that now. Oh, this is a domestic. Hello. Hello. So I think today they get judged today, so I'm excited for him. His name is Garfield. You can see they've got like information about their cats as well. I think, oh, this is a house cat as well. Hello, cutie. Oh, they're really nice. Really nice house cats. Neva Masquerade. There is a blue tabby in there somewhere. It's done really well. It's This here means it's been nominated so it'll go into the finals today. Or oh, you can see, there we go. They've got a little shelf inside their cage. So these cages are the show cages that they've come, um, the higher cages, but they've got shelves made that they can clip into them. So they're double deckers. Um, what else is around here? Lots more. I've got a video that I took when we got here yesterday morning of all of the, um, vendors so I'll be sharing that with everybody later I just got it I just had to download it onto my laptop because of space um, we have Neva's in here as well what have we got over here um, so it's just different breeds everywhere Norwegian forest cats look at the profile on that um, more Norwegian it's hard to see Turkish Angora. Oh wow. Hello. Hello, Charlie. Just showed this to Bernadette. Um, Turkish Angoras. Very nice. Another chartreuse. Hello. He says no thank you. Ah, uh, Russians. Oh, Russians. Yay. Maria will be happy that I found the Russians. It's really hard to see them through the plastic. <laughs> I'll come back and see these later. But I'm glad I found them because I told um, the Russian breeders I'd get some photos for them. So these are from, I'm just going to get the cattery name there for you. There we go. Okay. These guys have got lighting in their little carrier and they've got their own little, um, look at this. So this is the cattery and they have their own little um, lanyards. And then each one's got their own little passport that the owners have made up. How cute is that? It's got all the cat's information on it. These are ties. That's a bit exciting. Again, that's a breed we don't have. You get a good view of that one there. Oh, it's not looking, you can't see it very well on the video, but in real life, that cat's gorgeous. Oh, look at this one. Can you see that one a bit better? There we go. Wow. Okay, what have we got here? More Thai cats. Hello. Oh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. <laughs> Some of the people that don't speak English look at me like I'm on drugs. Okay, so we've got more Thai cats here. They've all got their little passports. Wow. Oh, Siamese. Hello. The Siamese and Orientals here are very extreme. Very, very extreme. Some of them are crazy extreme. Like this guy. Another one in the front. Oh, well, the one in the front a bit. They are very extreme. Devon Rex. Hello. Look at that, Carolyn, if you're watching. Yeah, I need 
Norwegian. Norwegian. Oh, look at this big NFO. Hello. Right, where are we? Burmese. We finally found the Burmese. What have we got here? Uh, brown, there's a brown Burmese and a lilac in here. Brown's just going away into its little cubby. Oh, there's two brown. It's really hard to see with the plastic. Sorry, guys. Another Burmese. Hello. Hello. Yes. Some of them um, don't have any breeder information. Some of them do. Persians, golden shade of Persians. I'll have to find more Persians today. Well, I'm going to go around, so I'm sure we'll see some. Because I haven't really seen heaps, but I've seen them being judged. Oh, hi. Maine Coon. Another Maine Coon. And another Maine Coon. There's the cattery information for this one. Abyssinians. It's been really nice to see a lot of Abbeys. I've been really enjoying seeing the Abbeys. I think I saw a Somali yesterday too. Oh, you're cute. Oh, you're very cute. Fawn. Very cute. Oh, we have a cinnamon. I'm um, not cinnamon. Um, um, oh, now I'm getting all confused because of the words are all different. I'm a bit tired, guys. I think the jet lag's finally caught up with me a week later. Um, tawny. Tawny is what I'm looking for. So they say sorrel and ruddy, whereas we say tawny and fawn. Um, cinnamon. Uh, what have we got here? House cat. Another abbey. This one's a tawny. So cute. Halloween theme. We have an Aussie cat. This is a uh, chocolate spotted. That's a big cat. We have uh, some more here. I think they're Norwegians. Norwegian, best in variety. That means they're going in the final. This one's out here. More displays, more shops. Blue Burmese. And has got uh, best of variety and best in show means it's nominated for the final. But I think there's a brown Burmese in that category. We have some more Durban Rexes. Little Durban having a snooze. And that's not a Durban, but I don't know what it is. Oriental. We have black bar color. Oh, I think I saw this guy get judged yesterday. Gorgeous. Yes, hi, hello. Doesn't have that, it has low ears but not super extreme ears. This guy's going to town. Hello. He's attacking his cage. Um, oh yes, um, Durban again, hello, I think there's a couple in there but, and I'm just going to get the um, information for you, oh it wouldn't do it because it was like, okay there we go, Durban's, there's another one in there but it's asleep, these ones aren't here yet. 
people in the middle are starting to show up. Norwegian, beautiful Tori. Norwegian, interesting markings. These ones are a bit hard to see. They're Norwegians and Burmans, ragdoll. We have a Persian. Hello. You're pretty. Uh, oh, curly and bobtail. I haven't yet to see the tail on a bobtail. <laughs> well, a lack of tail. Huskat. Siberian. Oh, big British short hair. Silver tabby. Mancun. These are the American curls. For those of you in Australia, I saw Pam Delabar and her partner with their cats. People are wearing their national dress today, which is really cute. Sphinx is in here. Oh, Sphinx. People just walk about with their cats. Sphinxes again. See the cats just walking around on the lead while they're carrying them. Blue Abbey. <laughs> Tony Abbey. Siberians. Orientals in here. Oh, they're really cute. Very, very social cats. They've all really, um, really good temperaments. They get handled, they just get out, they get handled. We've got a house cat and a house cat. Two big Norwegians. This is hanging out. Hello. Devons, but they're a bit hard to see with the plastic. Cornish, we're in Cornish town. This is for Louise and her and Leslie Cornish. We got a white, orange eyed white. Oh, and we also have in here, we have a black spotted, but it's a little hidey kitty. Little hidey kitty. Somali. It doesn't have, it's not super coated. It must be a young one. Blue Somali. Again, not super coated. Interesting amount of coat on this one I'm videoing. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> and this is for everybody who knows Pam. Pam, say hello Pam. Hi Pam. She's here with her American curls. And we're looking at, oh look, the Siamese again. They're a bit more extreme than what we see in Australia. But we're talking about how maybe something like that might help with our cats that are a little bit high-eared to bring it down and moderate it. Maybe? Maybe. Oh, no problem. <laughs>